Hi, I'm here to talk about Finland's secrets to successful early learning. So welcome, my name is Nilla Mikkola. I'm an early education specialist from Finland. I've worked in early education for over 10 years and I'm currently the CEO and co-founder of Kindy Days. The importance of playful learning and children's unique development are definitely close to my heart. Today I will give you an introduction to Finnish early education and some important concepts like child-centered learning, the importance of play, observation, documentation and guardian cooperation and kindy days. According to World Economic Forum's recent report, Finland has the best developed education system in the world. Finland's secret to success in early education is its focus on playful learning and its recognition that every child is unique. I'll first give a bit of background about the early education in Finland. According to the Finnish National Agency for Education, the mission of early education is to promote children's holistic growth, development and learning in collaboration with their guardians. Early education is a phase of intense development and learning, but learning through play is very central and essential. The Finnish National Agency for Education describes that understanding the importance of pedagogical possibilities of play for the child in the promotion of well-being and learning is essential. The early education in Finland consists of three parts, education, interaction and care. The task of education is to guide the children towards forming own opinions and engaging in critical thinking. The education guides the children towards recognizing the impacts of their own actions on other people and the surroundings. For example, learning about the impacts of recycling or consequences for not recycling. Children learn to think critically about the world they live in. The task of instruction is to promote the children's learning in early education and care. Children are encouraged and motivated to learn new things, as well as guided to use different ways of learning. The instruction utilizes children's natural curiosity and desire to experiment. The instruction takes into account children's uniqueness, their interests and, and strengths. In addition, the instruction is guided by pedagogical objectives. An example of the instruction part of early education um, a child shows no interest in counting or mathematical activities. The educator knows the child's interests, such as playing with cars. The educator uses the interest of cars to encourage the child to count during free play, counting along with the child. The care part of early education consists of taking care of physical basic needs as well as emotional caring. The goal is that the children feel safe, valued and understood and experience a connection with other people. A reciprocal, respectful, interactive and positive relationship lay the foundation for care. The care situations are always both educational and instructive situations where the ch children learn about self-care, interaction and good habits. An example could be washing hands. The educator is not just washing the child's hands, but describing the process and the reasoning behind it, encouraging independence and own initiative. I would like to underline that also the care situations are made educational. Child-centered learning is evident in all the parts of early education in Finland. There are four key areas to supporting the child-centered learning. There is interaction, individuality, environment and play. And what comes to the interaction? Research shows that much more important for children's learning and development is the interactions and the relationships than any fancy activities. So make sure that there is time and space for natural interaction between you and the children and between the children themselves. So interactive relationships promote learning and individuality. Every child is unique, constantly learning, and can be capable and confident and self-assured. 
uh, children mature in every area of their development at their own pace and in their own individual ways. That's what the individuality stands for. And environment. When building and developing the learning environments, attention in Finland is paid to ergonomics, ecological qualities, the comfort, accessibility, as well as the lighting in, inside, um, indoor air quality and the tidiness of the premises. All these support the children's natural curiosity and desire to learn, and it guides them to play and be physically active and explore and express themselves as well. And then about play, it motivates the children and brings them joy while allowing them to learn new things. So the task of early childhood education and care in Finland is to provide children with opportunities for different kinds of play. The National Curriculum Guidelines for Early Education states that play promotes the child's development, learning and well-being. So while children learn by playing, they do not personally see play as a vehicle for learning, but a way of spending time and living and perceiving the world instead. The curriculum also underlines that experiences that stimulate the children's emotions, curiosity and interest inspires them to play. This image by Basi Salberi well describes the concepts of play in, in the Finnish classroom setup. So on the left side of the picture, there is a loosely structured let it go classroom uh, where there is a lot of play, but uh, without active adult support. And their adult acts as the crowd, crowd control only. The Finnish model of play is not like this. And neither it is the other, the very right side uh, uh, with highly structured standardized classroom where the educator would lead the instruction included uh, scripted teaching and with little or no play. So the Finnish um, playful learning stays there in between these two far ends. It has two sides to it. Uh, there is classroom rich in child initiated play where the children can explore the world through play with active presence of the educators. And then also there is the focused learning where the educators guide learning with rich experimental activities. Mm, I'll give an example of the child initiated play first. So a role play area could be set up as a shop. Uh, teachers could provide play money for counting, mm, maybe some cornflake boxes, milk cartons and so forth. And the teacher can participate by visiting the shop when the children are freely playing in it, uh, the teacher could ask to buy milk, encouraging the, ch the child to count, compare, use polite language and so forth. Uh, the teacher could also ask if, if they can buy with certain amount of money a smartphone or can they, is a smartphone and the milk carton um, equally expensive. So this way the children practice skills from all the areas of learning, um, social and emotional skills, mathematical, um, language, creativity and so forth. And then again, the educator guided activity could be, for instance, also related to the shop play. Uh, they could together be crafting money for the shop. So we can stimulate the children's curiosity and interest by providing an inspiring environment and fun experimental activities that then stimulate their curiosity and also connect to their interest. And if we think about the role play in the shop example, um, counting with play money, learning to compare amounts or prices, recognizing numbers, learning kind manners while communicating with the so-called customers, uh, such could not be taught on a paper in the same amount of time. So through play, children imitate as well as they create new things and alter what they have seen. And they use imagination, which enables the children to experiment with different roles and ideas, which otherwise perhaps they could, could not even carry out. They can also process experiences that they find difficult because, well, play makes it safe 
uh, to experiment and try and fail. So hopefully this has opened up that the Finnish classroom doesn't consist of uh, just play, but the play really is a vehicle for learning. Um, studies have demonstrated that learning and motivation arises exactly from playful approaches. Uh, the neuroscientist stu studies have shown that playful activity leads to synaptic growth in the brain. Uh, synaptic growth is influenced by the experiences a developing child has with the world around them. And therefore, constant stimulation causes the synapses to grow and to become permanent. But if a child receives little stimulation, the brain will keep fewer of those connections. In play, children practice cognitive processes such as decision making, planning, controlling negative feelings and actions, and uh, smooth shifts from one task to another. And mastering these skills play a significant role later in studies and career. In addition to the previously mentioned central concepts for learning, there are also five learning areas as presented on the slide. A part of the Finnish curriculum. And these learning areas describe the key objectives and contents of the pedagogical activities. They guide the educators in planning and implementing versatile pedagogical activities. Children are entitled to gather versatile experiences of all these different learning areas. Rather than being independent entities that are implemented separately, uh, the themes of the learning areas are combined and applied according to the children's interests and ability level. Uh, the learning areas have been grouped into five entities. Rich world of languages, diverse forms of expression, me and my community, exploring and interacting with my environment, and I grow, move and develop. And it's important to notice that the Finnish guidelines don't refer to specific age groups. So early education is for zero to six year olds, and so are all these learning areas utilized as well. Mm, it's important to acknowledge that the children of the same age may also be going through different phases in different areas of development. And therefore, the national curriculum offers a general guideline only on uh, how educators are to provide a variety of learning opportunities for all children aged 0 to 6 in all the areas of learning. The children are given multiple opportunities to practice different skills in different areas throughout their early years of education. In addition to the learning areas, the curriculum also lists transversal competencies the skills that are enforced. The competencies practiced are thinking and learning, cultural competence, interaction and self-expression, taking care of oneself and managing daily life, multiliteracy and competence in ICT, and participation and involvement. The transversal competencies follow the students' learning through the elementary school as well. Observation and documentation of the children's learning is central in the Finnish early education. Next, I'll discuss why. Let's first see what the national guidelines say. The Finnish national curriculum guidelines state that the basis for high quality pedagogy is planning and documentation. Pedagogical documentation includes observations, documents and their interactive interpretations. The guidelines also emphasize that the educators must observe and document the children's learning. The simple answer why is observation and documentation important in Finland? Because it is the way to understand how children learn and to get feedback on their development. We don't test and we don't have milestones to assess the learning and development of the children lay in those precious playful moments. We must pick the important ones, document, reflect and involve the key people in the child's learning journey, being the educators, the child's parents and the child themselves. The process is called pedagogical documentation. It is a continuous process of observation, documenting and interpre interpreting. 
A pedagogical documentation produces information about the children's life, development, interests and needs. It creates a bridge between the children, families and educators and gives valuable information about the child, their interests, strengths and development. It is so important that children are not only seen as objects of the teacher's assessment, children should have a chance to participate in the documentation of moments that are important for them. Seeing that their important pieces of work or moments are noticed adds to the children's self-confidence and motivation to learn more. The Finnish National Curriculum Guidelines underline that children that are able to review and observe their own learnings are more capable of recognizing their own strengths and areas of improvement. Documenting the observations and the child's own reflections is essential in implementing formative assessment. It is also important to evaluate the operating culture and practices in early childhood education through formative assessment. The goal is to systematically collect, analyze and interpret data on the activities and provide continuous feedback to improve teaching and learning. Collected data helps to visualize progress and provides insightful information to help support the children's learning and the quality of early education. Finally, let's see how is Kindy Days a useful tool supporting the Finnish best practices. Kindy Days is a digital solution consisting of manager, educator and family apps. It provides the foundation for quality education. Centers can choose from a host of readily available curriculums or create their own to ensure structure for teaching and learning. Teachers observe and document children's learning moments through photos, videos and notes and connect them with the curriculum's objectives. Cooperation between home and daycare is crucial in the early years. It secures children's overall well-being and enhances their early development. With Kindy Days, learning moments are shared with parents and caretakers in real time. View and export learning portfolios and statistics per each individual child. View curriculum statistics at the group or school level to ensure holistic learning and consistent quality throughout your center. And thank you everybody and please contact me if you have any questions and you can see my contact details on the slide.